All right, you guys, it's Sonia Eckel, your independent sales consultant with Norwex. You know, a lot of times my customers say, wow, this is a big world of Norwex and it's all new, but they say, what should I get started with? So today I just picked a few of my favorites of what I think are a great, great starting place. Now, if you're at all familiar with Norwex, you know about our amazing Enviro cloth. This is our everything cloth that replaces virtually every cleaner in your home. And just as a quick review, what sets it apart from your other microfiber that you can go buy in the store is the size of the fiber. Um, the Norwex microfiber is guaranteed to be at least one two hundredth the size of a single human hair. Imagine that, that's crazy. Um, and the amount of fiber and the density of the cloth, in one cloth there's about 1,800 miles of microfiber. Remember, Canada, Mexico, crazy. And then the silver that's actually embedded right into those fibers that makes the cloth anti-back, okay? So this is your everything cloth. I'll show you about that in a second. Then secondly, you're going to want a polishing cloth. This is your window cloth. Remember, purple polishes. Whoops, I think I grabbed this one. Um, purple polishes and leaves everything streak free and beautiful. And then you have the amazing Norwex Dust Mitt. And I love one, I love two more. I love two Dust Mitts. And one reason is they're based on static clay, so I kind of just charge them up. And then they're great for just a quick dust around your home. If you happen to have a photo frame, you just pick it up, clean it, dust underneath, set it down. And when they get dirty, oh, I left some dirt just for you guys. Then you flip and you put it on the other hand, you've got two clean sides, okay? So I think the dust mitt is a household essential. And one of my very, very favorites is our brand new Enviro Wand. Now the Enviro Wand is bendable, so you can fit it really to your needs. But what I think I'm gonna try now, you guys hang with me because who knows what's up there. I haven't dusted in quite a while. But you can fold it, and this is for those hard to reach spots. Okay, this is like doing a ceiling fan, guys. And actually, ceiling fans can be, oh, good. We found some good dust up there. That's awesome. And for ceiling fans, I bend it like this so it hooks over the fan, fan blade. And then on the extra high ones, I take our mop handle. You will want the mop as well. Um, and that hooks right on the Enviro one to get those extra high spaces in your home. Okay, so I call these my cleaning essentials. Um, you can purchase these four products in a package deal called the Household Plus Package, um, which is a great place to start. Now, people, the second question is, how do I take care of my microfiber? First of all, they're cleaning cloths, so they must be washed. I'm gonna give you really quick the washing instructions. It's very, very easy. Um, you wash them in the washer, you dry them in the dryer. I do mine about once a week. And you remember three simple rules, okay? So no fabric softener or dryer sheets, no bleach, and no linty loads. So don't throw them in with like your bathroom towels or you'll end up eventually leaving lint on your windows. So that's kind of your laundering um, rules, if you will. And I recommend you find a detergent that doesn't have all the fillers in it because you're gonna be happier with your cloths if you take excellent care of them. Now, this is the top selling detergent, um, per my customers anyway, in high efficiency powder and liquid. Um, and you can see, I don't know what's in there, but I can tell you there's a lot of something in there. Um, and this has been in there four years and it's never gone away, okay? That's gonna build up in those teeny tiny fibers of your cloth over time. So I think you're gonna be much happier using a detergent that has no fillers, all active ingredients that's going to clean your cloths and clean them well. And that would be our Norwex Ultra Power Plus detergent. Okay, I want to wrap this up though, showing you because the proof is in the pudding, right? So we're going to take some butter on my oven door here and I want you just to imagine whatever might be on your windows at home. Certainly if we have pets and children, we know that they can get kind of tough. Remember, this is your everything cloth. You want to fold, not scrunch. The first reason why you want that contact of all the fibers. Second reason, you flip to a clean side as needed. So we're going to clean that. Did you see how it just sucked all the butter right off? And then we take our polishing cloth and we just quickly polish it dry. It's also awesome. On my stainless steel, leaves it beautiful. But 
a lot of people say, oh yeah, I get that. I'm okay with doing my windows and mirrors with these cloths. But what gets them is the idea that they can replace almost every cleaner in their house. So I like to do a little demo that just kind of brings home how our microfiber removes everything from the surface so that you don't need a toxic cleaner on your surfaces, okay? So I've got some raw chicken here. That's gross, but you know, the fact is that sometimes you're cutting up a chicken a breast and you get some juice on the counter. Most people reach for something that's not very healthy to clean it up. So I've got some simple test swabs here. I buy them from an inspection tool company and they're checking for contamination. They're really just checking for the presence of protein on the surface, okay? So we're gonna test that surface. The darker purple they turn, uh, the more contaminated that surface is. And we can safely guess that this is probably not a clean surface, right? Okay, and you can see that's already turning purple. We'll give that a few seconds. And now we're gonna take the Enviro cloth. This is the everything cloth that wiped up all that butter. Again, remember to fold, not scrunch, because you're mechanically removing all of the contaminants from the surface. And a typical cloth, you wouldn't, you wouldn't probably wash that whole surface with just water, would you? So now I'm gonna take the swab number two, and I'm just gonna check the surface. And um, with these, purple is dirty or contaminated, and green is clean. So we're gonna check here. All right. Okay, now, you can see, I'll hold it up against something white. You can see how the, the chicken juice is turning very purple, and after just wiping it up with just water and our Enviro cloth, green is clean. So what this tells you guys is that we've removed everything from the surface. So if we have cleaned up and removed all the contaminants, do you need a toxic cleaner to use on that surface? And I'm excited that I don't. So that makes me very excited. So these are a few of my favorite things, and I encourage you, go visit my blog. It's replacechemicals.com, or just reach out to me. I would love to connect with you and answer any Norwex questions you might have.